Hi there, um, it's Alan here from Lloyd & Clare Glasgow. Um, joining me today is uh, Kayla Tiefenbrun, uh, CEO uh, of Lint Products. Um, today we've been doing our official launch for these fabulous new 360 uh, loudspeakers. Um, and I really just wanted to get a little bit of kind of input from you, Gilad, on how Lynn's doing, uh, where you've been, where you're going, just a bit of a kind of, just a bit of an overview. I'd be delighted to. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to work with Loud and Clear. I love working with you guys. Coming along today for this Lynn 360 loudspeaker launch, the quality, the sound that you get in this space is just fantastic. You really show our products off in the best possible light. And so I've just had a smile on my face from this it was, all about came in here and heard Absolutely. how great a sound that you were making. I mean, really at the end of the day, that's what we're all about. And I know that's what you're all about. It's really about inspiring people. And um, it's really giving them the insight on this is how music can really sound. Um, so today for us is a bit of a kind of halo event. Um, we've had a number of customers through the door, some with more more modest systems, um, some with reference systems. But I think universally, everyone, as you said, they've left with a, left with a smile on their face, uh, which is really the name of the game, isn't it? It is. It is. For me, launching a product like the 360, it's an inspiration to the people at Lynn as well, because it gives everybody in the company something new to aim for. And as we were saying today, you know, the differences are getting bigger now with the products that okay. we're launching, which... What do you mean by that? Well, it's counterintuitive. People think, sometimes they say, oh, hi-fi, it's the law of diminishing returns. You yeah. know, you spend more and you don't get much better, but it's actually the opposite because yeah, now sure. we're revealing more and more of the tiny details that give realism to the music. Yeah. As technology gets better, we're getting ever closer to what real music sounds like and therefore... The emotional impact is that much higher, that the differences are now much bigger because okay. you're getting a connection with artists that you didn't even think was possible. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it's a landmark year for us. It's our 50th anniversary year. As you know, you, along with a few select others, were invited to the Lynn factory back on March 27th for the launch of the 360 loudspeakers. Yeah. Uh, do. It was a big, big event. Yeah, it was, absolutely. And uh, we had a great day and a chance to interact with you and our other best business partners from around the world. And the community atmosphere there was fantastic between the different dealers from all over the world that came into Glasgow just for the day, which was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it was a pretty mean party afterwards as well, I must say. It was. It was. <laughs> And one of the first things that George said to me when I walked in here was he said, I think we're making a better sound in here than you made at the Lynn factory. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? I said, I think that's highly likely. Okay. Because the Lynn factory is a factory. It's not a home environment. It's sure. an industrial building. Yeah. So we make the best sound we can in that setting. And of course, we've got all the sort of laboratory conditions to test everything, measure everything accurately. But it's isn't going to shine, product like this isn't really going to shine until it's in someone's home, until it's in an environment like this, yeah. which is beautifully furnished yeah. and it's a livable environment. And our products are made to be played, made to be lived with, made to be enjoyed. Yeah. And so that's what we got today. We've got them really singing, got the system sounding absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, certainly from our perspective, it's great working with a hi-fi company that realizes that most systems live in the real world. Not everyone is, is sitting in a perfect audiophile listening space. Um, and certainly some of the software attributes that come with the product um, allow you to really dial a system into a particular space. Um, it allows you to address some of the issues that we come across when install point of view. But also, we're quite fortunate this is a good sounding room in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yet, even so, um, adding space optimization and some of the new software really brings out the, the you know the beauty of the sound so the, the 360s they have the space optimization and the other core lin speaker technology they're based on is our exact technology yeah. which is what time aligns the frequencies so the okay. music arrives at your ear okay at the right time just like real music would or does yeah. so we have space optimization we have exact and then we have some other very cool new technologies in this speaker that have taken our flagship to other level. You want to give us a few selected highlights then of the sort of main technology in the speaker then? 
Well, if I can, I'll start with the 350, our previous flagship, which when we launched it back in 05, we were really trying to persuade people. Wait, is that 05? Yeah, it's the Could it be? Wow, okay, right, yeah. Um, and we, we were one of the first to introduce a complete system in a loudspeaker uh -huh. and you know an integrated active proposition that at the time we were having to sort of persuade people that you could have performance and simplicity in one package. Yeah, sure. People would really would just associate that with a separate system, but some people don't want or can't afford or don't have the space for a separate system. And we wanted to show back then with the 350 that it was possible to have a really fantastic sounding integrated speaker. What we also proved over the subsequent years is that we designed that speaker in a modular upgradable way, just like we do with all our products. Now that wasn't immediately apparent to people because they just saw, well, everything's in the speaker. Of course, over those 18 years, we've introduced a whole number of upgrades to the 350. So we showed that just through the module and the way that the speakers constructed, we were able to upgrade the DAX, which we did to Catalyst to, and to Organic even more recently that we've upgraded the amps, we've upgraded the drive units, and we've upgraded almost every part yeah. of the 350 over its lifetime. So I think we've now proven that you can have both the simplicity of an integrated speaker yeah. and the upgradability that you'd expect from a separate system. And that, and that journey aspect is, is really relevant. We always talk about people's music systems being, you know, you're starting on a journey. Uh, um, so it's great to have that upgradability. And also to, to believe that you're, you know, the supplier of your product isn't just selling you a box. What they're doing is they're giving you a box, but they're also continuing to develop that right. and give you opportunities to upgrade it and update it and bring it up to come, you know, modern spec. Right. So I think that's a, you know, that's a positive thing. And the 360 will be no different. You know, we'll continue to upgrade it in the years ahead. Sure. The major change is though, we had to move to completely new platforms. The 350 ultimately, we reached the limit of what it was capable of. And at that point, we take all the learnings Absolutely. of the 350 and put them into a brand new product, which is a 360. Most obviously, you see it's a completely new cabinet design. Uh, it's completely new drive units. It's completely new electronics. Absolutely. It's completely new software. So it's new everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, in summary. Absolutely, yeah. But it takes all these learnings and puts them into this new package. And most visibly, it's this curvature of the cabinet and it curves in multiple dimensions. There's no flat surfaces on the front fascia at all of the speaker, but you'll also see it tapers and the curve tapers in that go and that uh, matches the, the drive units and that geometry of the speaker gives it this incredible dispersion characteristic, uh, which aside from anything else means it sounds fantastic anywhere in the room. I mean, that was something that we saw today in our early listening session, really sitting quite far notionally off axis. Yeah. You were still getting a really wide and open sound stage. That's it. Um, which is really relevant to modern living, That's where it. not everybody mm. has the luxury of having the perfect equilateral triangle to put the speakers in. Right. So having that kind of off axis response is a really positive thing. And in some of the machining on this, which is now all done in house. So if you look at the trim pieces, they're actually mach very complex machine shapes that uh, join up with the curvature of the front baffle of the loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. And that get that continuity and having the drive units positioned right up front on the baffle is really crucial for how you experience the sound of the speaker. Okay. Okay. Um, the hard materials of the drive units, which are all matched, give incredibly low distortion. And at the crossover points, the distortion has dropped way, way down compared to anything we've done before. And so the clarity that you're getting from the speaker, from everything you hear is, well, that's what people were remarking on in the, in the demonstration today. Yeah, absolutely. And what's really apparent to me with this speaker is there can be really loud parts, really loud instruments and quiet instruments playing simultaneously in a track. But you could quite easily follow either yeah. of them. Yeah. And you could quite easily have a quiet conversation with your neighbor during very loud music because the distortion is so low. Yeah. So that, that's quite an obvious uh, characteristic of this product is just how low the distortion is when you're listening to it. I've really noticed that as well, having had the luxury of living with them now for about three weeks. The, the lack of fatigue in terms of listening, you just keep on digging out another record or playing another track. 
you've got none of that. I've been playing loud music. I'm just full. I'm going to, you know, finish now. And there's just that ability to just kind of keep listening. One of the things that I've really loved about going out and demonstrating this product is that you know that whoever's listening to it and whatever track they play, they're hearing that track at the highest quality they've ever heard it in their life. And they're getting some new revelation about that piece of music. And that's what you, you're hearing people remark upon. The, the chap before who said he's never heard the high, the high frequencies in that track sound so clear before. Yeah. Or as I said about the Nick Cave, I've exactly. never heard Nick Cave sounds so Nick cave before, you know, so light Nick Cave. And when you get that revelation, that's the real payoff for having a fantastic hi-fi system. It's that once you get that, you want to listen to every record you own again. Uh, that's the beauty of it for me. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Gilad.